Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman and this is part two of my Sunday afternoon ride on November 13th, 2022 in the countryside just outside of the city of Delft in the province of South Holland in the Netherlands. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Look at how cool this road is. Love these super narrow farm roads, country roads, water on both sides. Just barely wide enough for us bikers, us people on bikes. Gotta love it. Now, I don't actually know that we can get to where we want to go through this, but we're going to try. We're going to see if we can find some other quieter routes. This is an absolutely delightful little village. I suppose it's entirely possible we could be hitting dead ends, as in this, uh... Hey. <laughs> Wrong turn. Wrong turn. suppose it's entirely possible we can't get there from here but uh, still quite delightful you know seeing this ah uh, yeah see this is where everybody's going okay they just took a more pleasurable route to this point and then they're on the the uh, that area here's a really great example of how uh, the motor vehicle driver is going to you know really kind of uh, pay wait for us he's like okay I need to get home but all these people are riding on my street <laughs> that was a big swan swan song sing it all right back to our construction area here looks like uh, the majority of the folks are taking this route so we're gonna follow suit And a runner logging in some kilometers. Got a mobility device and a scooter. Kind of surprise. Scooter dude completely outfitted with full mask helmets. Isn't on the road. It's 
seems like that would be way more pleasant, but I don't know, maybe not. Alright. At this stage, I'm just following these two. Do you see a big old windmill in the, uh, the distance there? A historic windmill, not a modern windmill. I believe we're going to be turning right up here. Maybe not right away, but eventually. These guys are turning left. We're going to go up over this cool bridge. There's that windmill. All right. What do you say we go uh, look for the windmill? Hi, Shadow. Hey, Sheep. We are literally going right to this windmill. And I see that there's another one, smaller one in the distance. Windmills, of course, did real work. Back in the day. In fact, they still do. Producing electricity. We're going the opposite direction of uh, the windmill farms. They're sort of behind me and to the left. But uh, this looks like quite the agriculture operation here. These are some happy ducks. And we've got our Fabulous windmill. And our feet pad heads in this direction. Nice. There's that little windmill. Not sure if that's just decoration or what. Looks like some bracing on that windmill. <laughs> the geese yeah. making some noise looked like there was another big critter there in the field couldn't really tell what it was looked too big to be a rabbit Towards the ocean, across the farmland. And really, all I'm doing is just enjoying the day. I'm getting out to get a little bit of exercise in on a sunny day out in the countryside soaking it up tomorrow my last full day in the Netherlands and I will be in the big city once again in Amsterdam and meet up with Meredith Glazer so I needed a little quiet time 
out on the feet pod in the countryside. And that's what I got. And I also have some amazing weather. I hope you all have uh, enjoyed this nearly three week experience. We'll have some more tomorrow, obviously, and some parting words, but this is such a peaceful way to sort of wrap up the uh, time spent in the rural areas just outside of Delft. And the ability to get from village to village, again, so impressive. Don't discount the fact that a pathway can be used for recreational and utilitarian purposes. So it's, uh, it's imperative to think about connectivity. Don't wall these places off. And landowners and farmers and ranchers you know, open up the rights of way, especially if you have ditches and railway corridors or utility corridors or anything running through your land that can help facilitate, you know, this type of connectivity. And as you will see in just a moment here, you know, it really helps. Helps people be able to enjoy the countryside, enjoy the villages surrounding their communities. It's good for health, good for well-being. Looking back towards where we just were, and that windmill, a couple bike riders in the distance, and bringing us back to our feet's pod here with just group after group after group in front of us, making their way back home before the sun gets down and goes down it will chill off it'll chill off pretty quickly once the sun goes down i'm definitely getting a little toasty but now i'm hesitant to start shedding layers <laughs> It's about 3.40 in the afternoon right now, and I suspect, I don't remember exactly what time sunset is. It's probably in about an hour. I don't think I will quite make it to the ocean. We've done that already. The question is, is which route back should we take? Maybe we'll turn around and stay on this path along this canal for as long as it takes us. If it works for you, it works for me. I can tell you that uh, with the motor vehicles right over there on the other side of the canal, the, uh, the experience is really quite comfortable. Obviously we have plenty of space between us, 
but really you know that scooter that just passed us on the path here is way louder than what those cars are so it's definitely a situation where the noise level being created by these vehicles is not overwhelming Okay, this is as good a place as any to bring this second part of my afternoon ride in the Delft countryside to a close. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the Active Towns channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And if you're enjoying this content out here on the Active Towns channel, please consider supporting my efforts. There's several ways that you can do so. Just head on over to the Active Towns website Website at activetowns.org and click on the support button. That's all for now. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.